Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. We've been covering browsers a lot on Screencast Online recently, mainly because it's a function that is crucial to how we work on our devices day to day. Now, Safari and Chrome have been covered in previous videos, but today I'm going to look at two more on macOS specifically, and that's Firefox by Mozilla and DuckDuckGo. Now, both of these browsers are marketed around security and privacy, so I did want to touch on them and see what they have to offer and whether it's worth looking away from Safari or indeed Chrome. Now, as with the other videos, there is a lot of feature parity between all of the applications. And as I want to cover two applications today, I'm not going to look at the basics of how to search, how to bookmark, because that's pretty much the same in all the browsers that we've covered. So I'm going to be skating over those bits and trying to look more at some browser specific functionality that these apps have to offer. OK, we're going to kick off with Firefox and I'm on the Mozilla website here. Now, I can just click on the download button up here to download Firefox and install, but I've deliberately come to the accounts page within the Mozilla site structure because you can create an account with Mozilla that offers several benefits. If I scroll down, creating an account gives access to some different applications, uh, not just Firefox, and it allows you to roam between devices. It syncs your settings such as bookmarks, history, configurations, that kind of thing, very much like Chrome does. So if you have to use Windows machines, Android devices, as well as your Mac gear, then Firefox is a great option. They also offer a VPN solution. If I click and scroll, we can see a list of the price plans that are there. This isn't a VPN screencast. I'll just swipe back to go to the previous page. And if you have a Mozilla account, you have access to Firefox Monitor as well, where you can enter an email address in this box here. And Mozilla will check whether your email address was featured in any data breaches going back to 2007. But you do need to have a Mozilla account for this, though. Every one of these Mozilla pages has a box like this to either sign in or join Mozilla. However, I'm just going to swipe back and click download Firefox. I'm just going to click allow here and I'm going to pause while I double click on the file and just install. Right, I've installed Firefox and I've opened it up for the first time here. There is a link in the top right to sign in and I will be signing in soon as I do have an account. I'm just not going to do it at this stage here. And there is also a prompt at the bottom to keep it in the dock. Now I'm going to click not now. And with that, we have a few first run options that we can choose. So do I want to make it the default browser? Not now. And we can import passwords and bookmarks and more here. Now, as I've created some of these in the Safari and Chrome videos that have already been released, I think I will import them now because I've got no intention of going through that process again. So I can pick either Safari or Chrome to import them from. I'll stick with Safari and click continue. And now I can choose what I want to import. So I can check these to take them out or keep them in and then click continue. And I'm told that macOS needs to allow Firefox access to Safari's bookmarks, which makes sense. So I click continue and the file picker opens at the folder that I need. So I just need to click the bookmarks.plist file, then open. And I'm told the import is complete. So I click done. And next I can choose a theme and there are only three unique themes here with the far left one just mirroring the system one, whether you're in light or dark mode. So I click save theme. And we have our first Firefox session open. So what do we have? Well, on the home page, we have a search bar. We've got some recommended sites below that. And then underneath there, we will see that we have lots of articles and pages recommended by Pocket. And that's because Mozilla acquired Pocket back in, I think it was 2017. So if Pocket is your read it later service, then Firefox does make it easy to get your stuff in there. I can see in the bookmarks bar here, the bookmarks I created in previous videos. And if I come up to bookmarks, sure enough, I can see the folders and web pages that I saved here have indeed all imported correctly. There are some useful help files here for Firefox as well. And I can also see that my reading list from Safari has even come in too. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, 
published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.